Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing this um, Think Tank um, 30. It's the Logistics Manager 30 version 2. Um, I've been looking on the internet for um, reviews of one of these and I couldn't find one anywhere. Um, I've been waiting over three months for this to turn up. It's finally turned up and I'm hoping this is going to take place of two of my bags that I'm currently having to um, move around because of the amount of stuff I've got. Uh, rather than having a rucksack and a pull along, hopefully I'll be able to get everything into this one box. So, really excited to get this. Hopefully it's gonna save me a lot of hassle. I think I might be one of the first people in the UK to get this because there has been such a long thing because of the uh, COVID and all the different restrictions so blimey there's the bag I'm gonna go and get a tape measure quickly okay so I've got a tape measure now this is the box as you can see it's quite big 30 inches that's why it's called the version think tank 30 they do do a 40 which is obviously there and the 50 which is there now 30 is just about as big as I can really go because I was, I'm not going to be able to get it in my car and it's going to be um, a little hassle moving it backwards and forwards so let's take it out it's quite heavy put it to one side okay This is the first think tank bag I've had. I've always had low pros, man photos, etc. This seems to be the only one what would suit my needs. Now, there's the bag before I unlock it. This is the bag that I'm using at the moment. Well, I'm actually using two of these. And as you can see, it's nearly double the size. And it's also, Bit wider as well so I'll see what camera gear I can get in there when I've got it all set up so let's take all these off first okay, so it's got different bits in here put this down there telling you about the zipper and it's been inspect inspected for no damage <laughs> top part here is the handle which comes out just a little flap there just push the push the button pull up and there's the handle Nice big chunky wheels. On the back it's got a serial number um, so you can register it with Think Tank. Then if the bag ever does get stolen or lost in transit, wherever the case may be, people can then report that number and it can get back to you, hopefully. It's another little pocket at the top here. Register in the free bag today. Register your think back tank bag. I'll definitely be doing that. Put that back in there. It's a little, little thing there. You can put your business card. There is a little padlock here as well, so you can padlock it up. Put that back in there for the minute. There's not many times when I actually leave my bag anyway. So we've got a slip here where we can put a um, business card, etc. 
nice chunky wheels, has got a handle at the side if you do wish to carry it and it's like a seat belt material which goes all the way around on this side we've got a opening which you can put a, a um, uh, lockable zippers it says on on the top here they're quite chunky zippers as well fair hole there to get a look through and do the side Gels and then there, I suppose. Right, let's undo the bag itself. Wow. So they weren't kidding when they said it comes with a lot of uh, bits and bobs. We've got a strap, which I'm assuming is for the tripod or monopod. Inside, we've got the safety thing for the mould another one some sil silicas loads of these interior padding parts I'm going to have to take these out because there's that many okay, so I've got some big ones with we've got a section cut out Inside here there's a, see if we can see it there, it's like a spongy bit here, I'm going to try and take that out, I wonder if that's the rest of the camera's on, oh I know what that is, this bit is for the handle, so where the handle goes in the back but it only goes down to, only goes down a little way and it's really deep as well let me get the tape measure so it's nine and a half inches or 24 and a half centimeters deep so it's a lot deeper so what we've got in here so you've got photo stands grip lighting these are labels that you can stick on to the inside and the outside onto that into there so take all these off Get all about breaking it without hurting it and then that in there like so you could I suppose put your business card in there that's probably what I'll end up doing you know which one is which if you've got a few so yeah it's ginormous you can see I'm not too sure where that is we've got a bit missing on this corner purely because of the wheel where the wheel's cut out so bear in mind but let's get my 200 to 500 here and that will near enough close <laughs> 200 to 500 stood up right so I'm gonna have no trouble with um, the rest of my gear so, let's have a quick look over it I've got a feeling you know that you can actually take out 
you can actually take out the whole interior part it's got a zip in it as well so if you wanted to you could actually remove the whole of this in the section it's made out of quite solid um, material there is some give in it so obviously it's to give it some rigidity so so we've got interior measurement of 14 inches or 36 by nine and a half or 24 and length we've got interior twenty seven inch or sixty nine centimeters so you're going to be able to get the biggest of zoom lenses in here now my only issue here is that I don't want to be losing some space on the depth so I'm hoping we can use some of these to put inside like so put in in like so so we can actually make some shelves so you can have um, different l l layers the other thing is there's only one of these long ones along that way the rest are all the shorter ones so I'm going to unpack my um, bag I've got at the moment I'm going to start putting this stuff in and we'll see how much room I've got left after and I can put the other lenses in I've got here okay so I finally uh, managed to sort out the think tank bag this is the version 230 finally worked out exactly where I'm going to have all my equipment so I've got my um, 300 f4 here, my 14 to 24 f28 there, my 24 to 70 there, I've got a d3 there, got my d5 there with the uh, 70 to 200, I've got a box there with some um, memory cards in, my Nikon SP. 700 flash, uh, 1.4 times converter Nikon one, uh, 50 mil f1.8, various tools, Allen keys, etc. A couple of battery banks, uh, Nikon D4S there, and now I've got batteries. Uh, I'll get a from my stream. This one, 200 to 500. So yeah, finally sort of worked out a way to have it all. See the battery banks there. Water covers underneath the cameras as well. Let's lift this one up. I've got some high vis jackets, different colours. And I've got some gloves. Uh, I've got my various remotes there on board for behind the camera, uh, behind the dog camera remotes, triggers. Um, there I've got a, um, another waterproof bag. Analysis on this. Just widen this up a bit so you can see it better. So, got a spare eyepiece, um, a top thing there from a Nikon cameras, uh, various medication, um, headache tablets, aspirins, paracetamol, etc., memory cards, XQD cards, SD cards, um, compact flash. Cleaning products, business cards, 
Got a proof more, more proof cases. Black card, white card, grey card, um, notepad, another memory card, some other cables, USB C's, and etc. Face mask, a few pens, a D3 there, obviously, yeah, and some cleaning cloths. So, yeah, get all of that, which used to be in two bags. And you fit into this one bag, Just zip it up. As if I know, which at the moment just got my accreditation uh, for the league, etc. Insurance details. Put all that in there. And lift it up. And then on the top, got to pull out handle. Zips up. Put a lock in there. Nice big chunk of hands over there, nice big chunk of hands on the side, nice big wheels, solid at the back, got a thing here we can register so if it ever gets stolen or found. On this side I haven't put it on yet but we've got the thing for my uh, monopods, tripods etc all fit in there as well so yeah, so this is the Tank Ranger 30 version 2. Really happy with it. Especially replaces two bags for me. So yeah, happy days.